So today I have for you guys a very, very overdue what I got for Christmas 2021 haul. Now I realize that I have been MIA for a couple of weeks now, which as a side note, I did announce on my Instagram stories. So as a shameless self promo, head on over there for the first release of all the goss that happens in my life. I took a couple of weeks off just to decompress a little bit and enjoy the festive period, which I also hope that you enjoyed very, very much with your loved ones and also just, you know, the festive spirit. I just love Christmas time and I'm sad that it's over. Without further ado, I'm just gonna get straight into it because honestly, I've been wanting to film this for so long. Some of the things I haven't even opened and I've been saving them since Christmas. Other things, you know, like the, the Chanel purchase over here, one of the items I did open, take a little sneak peek, but I've done my best to replicate the unboxing experience. This is by no means holistic, by the way, because I've gotten a lot more things from my wonderful friends and family, some of which are a bit more personal to me, so I'm not going to share them, but other things are a bit more luxury, shall we say, which is obviously pertinent to this channel. I'm just gonna bring out something that my brother got for me. Oh God, I think that's my topple soon, but hey ho. Um, I'm bringing this one out because this is something that I guess is, is luxury. There are other presents that some of my friends got me, but I don't want to name and name and shame or name and fame them in case they, you know, they're a bit more camera shy, but some of them are very sentimental to me. I've got, this one is actually from Selfridges and it's a skincare essentials kit. Now my brother is actually abroad. So when I received this, I was really, really touched because you know, he doesn't really get presents. I don't think boys are really that good at buying presents for girls. Cause what do you also get for a girl that buys her own stuff? So I thought this was very, very thoughtful. And I wanted to share it also because it's something that I think maybe you can still get because actually the products in this particular skincare essentials kit are all full size products. They're all useful. They're all products that I don't actually have. Some of which I have used before and have thought to repurchase, but never got around to it. I think it's probably quite an economical purchase more than as a side note, the Chanel advent calendar, which is in the corner there. Cause my mom actually didn't want it because that's a funny story in itself. Uh, my mom opens the calendar and she basically threw a lot of things on the floor. There is, I think a little manual on the sleeve of what you have manual, like it's some sort of dishwasher or something that I need to read up on. So it's got all the brands here, Dermalogica, Summer Fridays, Embryolee, Supergoop, Mario Badescu, The Inky List, uh, Origins, The Ordinary, Pixie and Rodial. Rodial? Rodial, potato, potato. Yeah, loads of useful things like sunscreens and microfoliant face washes and all that kind of good stuff. I haven't even checked out all of this actually because this is the first time I'm properly opening it. I just, uh, uh, retinal eye cream. So this is a really helpful and useful product. So, highly, highly rate. Let's move on to the item that I'm actually using to film this video. So this is a gift from me to me, as is most of the stuff here. What I have here is a Sony lens. It's my first G Master lens. We've got here the 24 millimeter with a 1.4 stop aperture. Oh my goodness. The bokeh on this is wild. If you guys are photography nerds, comment below. You'll know what I'm talking about. And actually funny story, which is also why I'm very delayed filming videos for you guys. Not to go on a massive tangent, but important as to why I bought this. Uh, when I was in the Balkans and I was filming one of my videos, the tripod that I'm currently using, so I had to make sure, doubly sure, that it's all in correctly. It just decided to collapse on itself. One of the legs caved in, uh, was probably tired from me chatting away, and I uh, didn't catch it in time. It was like a slow-mo of me like, no. And thankfully the camera didn't shatter, but what did um, suffer the biggest blow and save the rest of the camera body, which I'm glad for in the end, uh, was the actual lens itself. So the lens that I had was a Tamron zoom lens. It was a great one, 28 to 75 millimeter lens. Great bokeh on that too, really versatile. But that has gone now to Tamron in Germany and therefore I've been without a lens for many months actually. So thankfully that is being fixed now. It should be on its way back back to mama in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, I decided, you know what? You should probably invest in another lens because you do use your camera an awful lot. So wanted a prime lens because that one's obviously a telephoto or zoom lens. And this one I've done a lot of research on from various YouTube videos. This is a really good one to invest in. So I thought, why not put, take the plunge and get myself a proper Sony lens? Uh, this was a pretty penny actually. This was, I think around eight or 900 pounds for a lens. This one I actually got from a website called E Infinity, I think, and they're a lot cheaper than the ones that you get from the store, but they are legit, like they're actual legit ones. Now we're going to go on to some, a, a less useful purchase, but I think it's really, really cute. And it's literally molting everywhere. So this is a Lyrica Matoshi strawberry dress. And it is, if you've been observing Instagram for quite some time, this was so viral for such a long time. If people still buy it, still wear it, still love it. So I thought, you know what? While it was on sale during the Black Friday sale, 
I thought I'd pick it up because it was on discount and this never goes on discount. And so I got this from around, I think all in with the import duties, which were crazy, by the way, it was like a hundred and something pounds. Um, overall it's about 410 pounds thereabouts. Um, to me it's worth it because it is kind of like a one of a kind thing. I'm not gonna buy from them really again, but it looks beautiful on and I just, I don't have anything like it really and I will do anything to justify it. What I'll talk about is very quickly, just a nod to this beautiful top. It is a For Love and Lemons top. I think it's, oh gosh, I've forgotten the name for it. I think it's online as well. You can probably type it in. It's got little um, strawberries as well. I think it's like a hundred pounds. Um, it is a really, really nice top. Just thought I'd just point it out in case you guys are interested. I've got it on sale as well. I think it was like 30% off, something like that. Let me talk now about this really big spend. Uh, this is a piece of outerwear. You can see here it says Mia Maya. That is actually the department store I bought it from because I actually bought it not in the UK, but in the Balkans, specifically Serbia. And even more specific than that, Belgrade. So the store is called Mia Maya, but the, the brand is not Mia Maya. It's actually Max Mara, which I realize is confusing. This is a beautiful fur hooded and wool bodied coat. Oh my goodness, she's beautiful. I feel like Little Red Riding Hood or someone in, um, Game of Thrones, you know, in the winter when they all wear their little capes. Uh, I feel like one of those and uh, I love it. And I think you can still get it. It's called the Mango Coat, if I'm not mistaken. It actually turned out to be a lot cheaper uh, in the Balkans than in the UK for some strange reason because of the tax free, um, the tax rebate that I got as well. This particular coat, I think in the UK is probably retailing for like over a thousand pounds. Somehow in euros when it was, or it was it RSD, but their local currency converted back to the uh, British pounds was actually less. I think it was like eight or 900 pounds. So really good. And then I realized upon paying, they had a Global Blue sticker. I've since talked about Global Blue on this channel. So if you want to find out more, you can consult that video that I did recently, but they actually did a tax rebate of, I think like 15%, maybe even 18. So I actually got some back and I managed to spend that on some presents as well for my friends and family. So win-win in my opinion, but um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful coat. As you can see, it's a tie detail here. You've got one button here that you can do up. I personally don't do that. Um, it's a bit asymmetric. I like to have it open and I also like to wear it just on my shoulders. And I love that it's quite functional. It's got the pockets, obviously. It's got a hood and this fur hood. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. I actually, really wanted a, a, one of those El Capini, I think it's El Capini coats. It's like fur everywhere. And I really wanted to get like an OTT one from Serbia because they're known for their furs there. But every time I tried them on, they were always too baggy or boxy or looked a bit cheap. But as soon as I saw this, I mean, this was the only one in the store. I snapped it up immediately. And I'm so glad I did because actually in the UK, I haven't found this particular gray colorway with almost it's like this purpley uh, tone to the fur anywhere else. And for this price, cannot complain and i will open this versace one because i'm going to save this one till last the chanel okay um but i know those of you that are interested you'll just probably fast forward to the end won't you probably the most frivolous purchase that i've ever made to date in my life or i unveil to you my most extravagant purchase to date and my own present to me for me and that is a versace robe <laughs> It is ridiculous. Cue the Bruno Mars song. So this is the rope belt. And then here we have the actual robe itself. I got it in black because the other colors, especially the yellow, looked insane. The red one even more so. And the white, I cannot keep white. So there was no way I was going for that. But I bought this from Harrods. As you know, my favorite store, they had a 10% thing going on. Um, so this actually was, uh, I think 500 pounds. And then it was reduced to 450, can then resume points and everything like that. Then I realized actually upon purchasing this, which obviously I'm very happy about, uh, by the way, and I got this in a size S in case you're interested, but that's the smallest size they have really. Um, I realized upon arriving home that uh, I looked on Versace's website just, just to check it out, you know, and they actually have not only different colors, but they have an option to personalize your robe. So I'm gonna probably get Mel on the back. I'm going to be the biggest twat ever walking around my house or doing, can you imagine me doing an MTV Cribs? I think it'd be really funny and um, can't wait to even wear it out out. Not just in the house, I fully intend to wear this because it's a black robe as a cardigan 
or an overcoat for when I go out. And it would have my name on the back. So no one would ever lose me. I think it would be a great flex. And now we are on to the main event, which of course, if you've been sticking around, is what we've all been waiting for. It is the Chanel unboxing. And like I said, we have two things to unbox in here. So the small thing I haven't actually opened at all. So this is a fresh unboxing and it's not been touched. As you can tell, it's properly wrapped as opposed to the botch job that I will be showing you later, which is this. Right here. So let me do the little one first. And it's rather cute. I've been trying to get this for ages as well. So I'm so glad I managed to get hands on it. And also, as you can see, Christmas camellias and things. Finally got in my hands on a Christmas camellia. And this is not the most exciting Christmas packaging. I feel like they even had Christmas ribbon, but I didn't get any. And you can probably tell what it is. It's an accessory item, okay? Oh, well, more specifically than that, it's costume jewelry. And you know, I wasn't intending to buy more costume jewelry, but as soon as I saw this one online, I knew I had to get it and they only had one left. And I thought, you know what, it's fate. Here we have a beautiful pair of <gasps> pearl heart earrings. How beautiful are these earrings? I mean, pearl heart, oversized heart earrings. And they're all one solid piece as well. I mean, my gripes with costume jewelry is predominantly because there's all these little bits and little stones and little details that will invariably fall off at some point and you're gonna have to go fix it and it's this vicious cycle. So it's not the best, but I thought actually for the price point and everything, um, this was actually pretty good and very classic and pearl I love so, so much. And I'm gonna put these on actually for the duration of this video, just so that you can get a sense of how they look. They are so cute. They're not super heavy either because I have the most delicate ears. They did release a lot of these heart earrings beforehand. I know they released like a nice pink one from the previous collection, if you know the one that I mean. And it came in other colors like white and blue as well, but these are fresh collection, new collection. And I love these even more actually than the other ones because the other ones are a bit more heavy. They're not super in your face, but when you want to pop them out or have your hair up, bam. Very, very cute statement. And do you know what? Even though I didn't really intend on buying more costume jewelry, I think this is, this is worth it. Now we are on to the grand finale to end this video. And it's gonna be the most exciting because it is indeed a handbag. What is in this box may surprise a lot of you, especially given a video that I made about reasons not to buy this. <laughs> so people may already understand what I'm talking about here, but this was actually a wonderful gift from my mother. Therefore, I haven't actually broken my own rules. Do a bit of ASMR here. See if you guys can guess what I got because the colorway honestly is stunning, really, really stunning. Okay, so you can see from the size, it's not, not that big, it's not that big at all. And as you can see, we have a white bag, which can only mean one thing. It's classic flat my peeps. It's actually, I'll show you, you know, get the little uh, care booklet, which has the little instruction manual and mitt. Though as a side note, I'm pretty sure I am owed one of those history of the classic flap books. They always forget to give those to me, which is just sad for the amount of money that this is worth. Now I've sorted that out, we can open her up. I know, I'm really teasing you guys on it, but you might be able to see a sneak peek of this beautiful light green, minty colored almost, small classic flat bag, oh my God. So let's rip the tape off together. Oh, how exciting. And isn't she beautiful? Let me just correct the strap here. So, let me, and also give you the stats really as well. So we've got here, like I mentioned, small classic flap in light green, that is the official color. It is in this champagne gold hardware. But you can see it almost looks like a bit of silvery depending on the light. So it's perfect for me because I'm a silver hardware gal. But it's perfect for me because as you guys know, I'm a silver hardware gal, but I do love champagne gold hardware. 
I've got some bags also that are in champagne gold, which is great just in case I do change my mind in the future, but it looks very, very modern and young. And it's some quilted caviar leather, which obviously is more durable, though I do have thoughts on that. Just put a pin in that for now. Let me just take you quickly for the tour. It is a double flat bag, of course, as it are the usual classic flaps. Interiors is all completely green, very, very cute. There is also, as a side note, no authenticity cards anymore. They just have the metallic, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, there we go. The metallic authenticity plate there. So that is the bag. I mean, you've probably seen many of these before, but in case you want to see it in more detail, I will probably do a separate video on this and the other sizes that I have in my collection. So like I mentioned, big, big purchase. This was probably, I think around six grand or something. Um, did manage to redeem some Harrods rewards points on there. So I managed to get a couple hundred, I think, off of that. Uh, these continue to go up in value. So even though I have my gripes with it, at the end of the day, these are investments. These are worth more than some stocks and shares, to be quite honest with you. So swings and roundabouts. I thought this color was absolutely stunning. I wasn't intending on, you know, getting a bag. Neither was my mom, I don't think. Um, but she saw the color when we were in Harrods. We like to just do mum and daughter days out. And um, was, we were getting the earrings and stuff. It's just looking at the bags. And this one came out. I thought this light pastel green was so beautiful and cute. I'm really trying to add a little bit more color into my collection because as you can tell, it's all very neutrals. I think perfect for not just um, spring and summer because it's obviously like, it reminds me of like floral um, dresses and things like that, like I can wear it with, but also in the winter. But having said that, I must say the quality on this, I feel like is a bit lacking at the moment, which is why I'm not gonna, I think after this one, my classic flat collection for sure is done because there is a little bit of wear and tear. Not sure how, despite wearing this out like one time only. Not sure if you'll be able to see that, but I spoke to my essay about it. She's like, that's damaged. I'm thinking, how? I haven't damaged any of my other bags in this way. And they're so much older and I've been more reckless with them. I think I'll end this video here because I've covered as much as I think can fit in this video without you guys being so bored to death. I'll be resuming with other content very, very soon. Just bear with me because I'm still getting used to this lens. But if you've got any other thoughts on today's video or others in the future that you'd like to see more of, especially if they involve any of these items, please leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Thank you as always for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.